What's going on? What's happening, fellas? Let's get right into it. So today I'm going to give you guys some game. We're going to talk about the ladies today. And I'm going to give you guys nine body language signs that a woman is attracted to you and she wants you. Okay, I hear a lot of dating coaches talk about choosing signals and how you should respond to choosing signals. But I see it's very rare that they actually list these choosing signals out so you know what a choosing signal actually is. So different women are gonna give you different type of choosing signals depending on the type of woman she is. So let's get right into it. The first choosing signal a woman will give you when she's attracted to you guys is eye contact. Eye contact. Now, if you guys have not noticed, if a woman does not want you or she's not interested in you fellas, she is not gonna make eye contact with you. Okay, she might make eye contact with you for like a half a second to a second, but she'll instantly turn her head when she realizes she's not attracted to you. You know, some women or people, period, just look at you and y'all just so happen to make eye contact out of circumstance, you know, depending on where y'all at in the room, depending on who's in the room and what's going on. But if a woman makes full eye contact with you for at least three to five seconds, sometimes longer i think anything longer than seven seconds is kind of weird but if a woman makes eye contact with you for at least five seconds guys that woman is attracted to you especially if she's beautiful okay what i've seen and what i've observed also experienced really beautiful women don't really make long eye contact with people and there's a few reasons why one of the reasons is because most beautiful women know that most guys want them so they don't want to give guys a false perception that they want them back and just another thing about really attractive women just like the fact that most men want them these women get hit on all the time so they're not really interested in most guys to be honest with you okay i don't know if y'all saw the stat but 80 percent of women only find about 10 to 20 percent of men actually attractive so if you get a woman in public in person staring at you making eye contact fellas that is a clear sign she's attracted to you number two way you can find if a woman is attracted to you by her body language is if she stares at you okay now it's a little bit different from eye contact eye contact is when both of you guys are looking at each other staring is a little bit more subtle you know, it's when you're not paying attention to her or you can kind of see her in your peripheral and she's full on staring at you, you know, and this stare can last a little bit longer than five seconds. OK, because she knows you're not looking at her and it's less awkward. OK, less, less intimidating. So if a woman stares at you, if you catch a woman in your peripheral or you hanging out with your boys and your boy come over and tell you that that chick across the bar, that chick in the room was staring at you for a long time. Gee, she's attracted to you. OK, women are different from men. All right, men, we kind of we, we got this thing. Well, even if a woman is not as attractive, we'll still look. You know, you got to be honest with yourself. Fellas, y'all be trying to sound all macho and all cool. Don't lie, G. When you see a five. You may not be like, dang, man, I want that, but you still going to look, G. It's male nature, okay? But women are a little bit different, all right? Women really only stare at men that they actually want, okay, guys? So if you catch a woman staring at you, trust it's a good chance that she may be attracted to you. Now, this is not all in all because she could be staring at you because you remind her of somebody that she know, you know, or she trying to figure out where you got your shirt from because she want to get it for her man, whatever the case may be, but... It's a good chance, all right? I want to say about 80 to 85% chance that she is attracted to you if you catch a woman staring at you. Number three body language sign that a woman is going to show you when she's attracted to you is mirroring, all right? Mirroring. Now, this is a natural human trait, natural human trait, but it's only done when somebody is either talking to or interacting or looking at somebody that they like, want to be like, or attracted to, okay? Simple human nature. Okay, and we talk about mirroring here. I don't know if you guys know what mirroring is. So I'm gonna give you guys an example of what mirroring is. I'm gonna give you two examples. So when I was in a seven year relationship, uh, the woman that I was with, she was highly attracted to me. So all throughout the relationship, there will be things I would say and things I would do that she would mimic, not in like a teasing tone or making fun of me or anything like that, but she would mimic it. Like she would mimic some of my jokes. She would mimic the way I laugh sometimes. You know, sometimes, you know, some of the body language things I would do, she would mimic him, you know, like how I would sit or how I would drink my coffee or some like stuff like that. You know, so when a woman likes you and she's really fond of you or she wants you, she will mimic you. She will mimic you. Just think about a friend you have. 
you know, you've, you've, you've had a friend for a while or just a short period of time. And some of the things that they say and some of the things that they do, you kind of mimic it, you know, and you don't even know you're doing this. You're just doing this subconsciously. I'll give you guys another example of mirroring. So I remember a time I went to the bank, you know, I went to go talk to the teller. I was opening a new bank account and there was this beautiful bank teller, bro, beautiful bank teller. She took me in her office. We sat down, you know, she's asking me these preliminary questions. And I knew, I kind of knew from choosing signals because I've been in the game for a minute, bro. I'm 33. I've been with a lot of women. Like a lot of the stuff I tell you guys, like I said, G, it ain't for me reading books. It ain't for me watching podcasts. This is stuff I live. All right, and this is why I have so much confidence and I'm so fluent when I talk. I'm not reading the script, G. I'm telling you real life. All right, but back to the bank teller. You know, we're talking. I could tell she was attracted to me, you know, but I didn't know for sure. You know, maybe she was just being nice because it was her job. So I started paying attention a little bit more. And every time I would do things like rub my hands or put my elbow on the table or, you know, I got this thing where I twiddle my pen like this, you know, she, uh, she started to do the stuff. And the thing that got me was the twiddling with the pen, you know, so I'm talking to her and I'm doing this with the pen she gave me. And then she turns her chair around me and she sees me doing it. Gee, I guarantee you, bro, five minutes later, I catch her twiddling her pen. And I actually asked her about this. I said, hey, do you normally twiddle your pen like that? She was like, like what? And I was like, look, look what you, you know, with your pen. She was like, oh no, I, I don't even know why I'm doing that. You know what I mean? Like clear as day, guys. So when a woman is attracted, by the way, I end up getting her number, by the way. All right, so when a woman is attracted to you, G, she will mirror you. Now, this is not gonna happen all the time, but if it does, this is a clear sign. All right, number four way you can tell if a woman is attracted to you is if she licks her lips around you, either licks her lips or tries to get you to pay attention to her lips. All right, women's lips are different from men's lips, all right? Men, we don't really get women to try to pay attention to our lips. Now, I know when I was younger, I used to do this little thing when I used to meet chicks, I used to kind of lick my lips around them to show them that I wanted them. It worked sometimes, sometimes it didn't, you know, but I knew consciously I was doing this. Women do this subconsciously, meaning it is a innate reaction. They don't know that they're doing it. Okay, some women do. Some women do it on purpose because they understand how to attract men. But some women, bro, like a lot of the things I'm going to talk to you guys about today, they just do it because, you know, it's a natural physical reaction. Okay, so if you catch a woman licking her lips, if you catch a woman adding an extra layer of lip gloss or lip liner or whatever it is around you, you catch a woman pucker, puckering her lips, you know, or doing, you know, just little seductive stuff with her lips, G, she wants you. Like I said on my like I said on my first point about the eye contact, G, women, especially beautiful women, bro, they get hit on all the time. They get men looking at them all the time. So they don't want to give men the false perception that they want them. Some women will do this out of manipulation or to boost their ego. So you can come talk to her and she can reject you or whatever. But most beautiful women, G. They don't just outwardly portray these things to just any man. And when you see most beautiful women in public, G, they're kind of closed off. They're to themselves. Even when they're with people, they don't really talk to a lot of people. You know, there are some outliers out there. It's not the all in all thing. But most beautiful women, G, they are very reserved in public. You know, because they know they give any guy the, the day, the time of day to talk to him. He's going to be drooling over them. He's not going to leave you, leave them alone. And God forbid she give them any kind of contact information like an Instagram or a phone number. So if a woman is licking her lips around you, G, she wants you, bro. All right. Number five way you can tell a woman is attracted to you by her body language is if she shows her vulnerable body parts to you. Okay, now this is something, and I know a few of these things, some of you guys probably already know, but this is something that a lot of guys don't know. All right, let me explain this, okay? Humans, we are built a certain way, okay? Women are built a certain way. Men are built a certain way. Now, women have these vulnerable body parts on their body that they tend to cover up when they feel threatened or when they're scared or when they're uncomfortable around certain people. Okay, so when women are exposing these body parts, you can you can bet, you can bet that she wants you or she's attracted to you or she's trying to get you to notice her. Okay, one of the main vulnerable body parts that a woman will show you is her neck. Her neck. 
okay the neck on any human is very vulnerable like you ever seen the movie like a, the dude getting shot up like 80 times he pop 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 bullets all through his chest his shoulders his legs and he still don't die but if they slit that boy throat just a little slit it's over he bleeding to death okay so even though people don't think about the whole getting your throat slit all the time we still know that our neck is very vulnerable especially on women. If you ever catch a woman like moving her hair around so you can see her neck or putting her hair up in a ponytail so her neck is fully exposed around you, gee, I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you, I, I've, I've helped some other guys with this, bro, and 100% it always works. You know, and I tell dudes, if you in a room with a woman or you interacting with a woman or you making eye contact with a woman and she opens her neck up, you know, like she puts her hair in a ponytail around you or she takes one side of her hair and puts it behind her ear so you can see the right side or the left side of her neck. Gee, she wants you. I'm telling you, bro, this is what women do. This is kind of equivalent to when men, when we walk around and we see women, we kind of poke our chest up, stand up taller. You know what I mean? It's the same thing with women, okay? So if a woman is showing you her vulnerable parts, her neck, her back, stuff like that, she wants you. Okay, another thing to add to that, my next point number six, is if a woman starts to play with her hair around you. Most things, these things I'm talking about today, they don't even know that they're doing this. Like they know that they're doing this, but they don't know why they're doing it. You know, so if you catch a woman, I'm gonna use my do-rag right now for an example. If you catch a woman and she's kind of like twirling her hair around you, you know what I mean? Or fixing her hair up. She wants you, G. And some women will actually fix their hair up around you so they look better for you. It's a natural thing, okay? You ever saw, like, you ever walked up to a woman, you start talking to a woman, and she starts to, like, prop her hair, you know, make sure her curls right on the side, or start fixing her little edges or whatever, make sure they lay, or <laughs> whatever. I think, I think that's how you, they, they talk about it, laying the edges or whatever, man. But, like I said, if a woman's playing with her hair around you, she's fixing her hair up, G., she is attracted to you. So what you got to do, make the move, G. Make the move. Maybe you miss, but at least you try. Number seven, body language sign you can tell if a woman is attracted to you is if she turns her feet and or her body towards you. Okay, now before I get deep into this one, I want to tell you all something I learned a few years ago. I was watching a, um, a law show. And it was, it, this wasn't like Law and Order or CSI, none of them, you know, shows like that. This was an actual reality show, okay? And uh, like on YouTube, a real podcast, a real podcast. And his lawyer was talking to this couple and he was trying to figure out uh, if there was any infidelity or cheating going on. And the lady in the relationship kept saying, oh no, I'm not a cheater, I'll never cheat and blah, 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 and all this stuff. And there was going to be a lie detector that was going to come up later on in the show. But before they took the lie detector test, the lawyer actually turned around to the lady and asked her, he said, hey, I've noticed something since we've been talking for this last 45 minutes. I've noticed that you're sitting right next to your husband, but you have your legs crossed and your feet are not pointed towards him. You know, and she was like, what, what the hell does that mean? What does that have to do with anything? And he said, bro, from what I've seen and what I've studied, you know, and what I've learned from studies, from psychological studies, that when women turn their, their feet or their legs away from a person, they're not attracted to them and they don't really want them and or they don't really love them. And she stopped and paused for like five seconds and she thought about it and she broke out crying, you know, and then a few minutes later, she admitted to cheating. OK, and I was like, wow. That's crazy. So it was a show, so I had to go make sure I did my research, and it's 100% true. So now when I go in public and I see couples or I see people talking, a man or a woman, I pay attention to the woman's feet. I pay attention to what, the, which way her body's turned. Okay, guys, if a woman is fully faced you, feet towards you, body towards you, you have her full attention, either you're a very interesting dude or she's attracted to you, G. Okay, so start to pay attention to these things. Some guys may see some of this stuff, they're like, oh, none of this stuff matter. Gee, yes, it does matter. Because if you get a woman and she's not showing you any of this stuff, she probably ain't attracted to you. You probably gonna have to put in a bunch of work to get her attracted to you. But if she's showing you most of these things, I am telling you today, 
She wants you. That's a choosing signal. Make the move. A lot of dudes be figuring out, what should I approach this girl? I don't want to approach this girl because I don't want to get rejected. I don't want to approach this girl because, you know, I may catch a case or whatever. Bro, if you pay attention to choosing signals, these things won't happen. The reason why a lot of guys get in trouble or the reason why a lot of guys get rejected, the reason why a lot of guys get embarrassed when they approach women is because there's no choosing signals. The woman has showed you no idea <laughs> or no indication that she's interested in you, but you still decide to go cold turkey and walk up to her. I don't recommend, I don't recommend cold turkey. I don't recommend just walking up to a woman who's not even looking in your direction, trying to holler at her. Not today, not these days. Maybe back in the year 2000, maybe in the 90s. Y'all know I'm a 90s, I got my, oh shit, I got my 90s baby shirt on right now. You know, maybe back in the 90s you can do that. You can just walk up to a girl from behind, tap her on her shoulder, let her know you think she at, you know, and then you get the number. This ain't happening no more, guys. You gotta wait for choosing signals. I'm all about approaching women, but I am not about approaching women without choosing signals, fellas. Okay, these women get too much attention, too much attention. But if they're giving you choosing signals, that means you 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 something. Okay, you doing it. All right, guys. So pay attention to women with their feet, whether it's turned towards you, turn, you know, not in your direction. You know, now nah, she got on like a dress or something. You know, you don't don't expect her to have her legs wide open towards you or nothing like that, G. All right, don't get too wild about it. But let's say she's wearing sweats. All right, y'all having a conversation and y'all are facing each other, but her legs are pointed that way, her feet are pointed that way. Pay attention, G. Try to find out if she's showing you any other signs because if her feet are turned the other way, it's a good chance she's not attracted to you. Right? Number eight body language sign that a woman is attracted to you is if she touches you or touches you with intention. Okay? Uh, one day, I remember I was at work, and this is when I sold cars, and I was talking to this customer. She was a young girl. She was about 22 years old, and she came in looking for a car. So I brought her around the lot, you know, we're looking at different cars. I think she was looking for like a van because uh, she, she wanted like a family car for her family. Cause I think she had a kid, uh, two kids or whatever. I forgot what the case was, but I walked around a lot. I'm showing her some of the vans and we're talking, we're laughing. And she's a younger girl. So, you know, we have a good conversation. We're talking about like random stuff and everything between talking about the cars. And I remember specifically every time I will make her laugh, she would kind of touch my shoulder or touch my arm. You know, I remember one time we were walking and like she kind of touched my hand almost like she was about to hold my hand. I was like, whoa, girl, I'm at work. You trying to get me, trying to get me fired or what, you know? But later on in the deal, you know, when you go buy a car, it takes like four or five hours sometimes in most cases. So in the deal, later on in the deal, we're about to get her all signed up for her new car. And she told me, she was like, hey, uh, you know, I don't want to be too awkward about this and I don't want to be unprofessional, but can I get your number? And in my head, I was like, yep, I knew it. I already knew you was going to ask for my number, you know, because you, you touching all on me every time. we You barely even know me every time we talk. You touching touching all my muscles and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's a good way to, to, to find out if a woman is attracted to you, okay? If a woman don't want you, bro, she ain't going to touch you, all right? Some of the women are a little bit more conservative, so they're not going to just outwardly touch you if they don't know you. But if you're hanging out with a girl, you kind of don't know whether or not she's really attracted to you guys. If y'all, if you watch the movie and she laughs or she touch your leg or she touch your shoulder or she lean on you, she wants you, G. All right, she wants you. I'm not saying as soon as she do that, you got to start taking your clothes off. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that. I'm saying that women don't touch men that they don't want. Like women try to stay as far away from men that they don't want as possible. I've noticed this. I've seen this. All right. Women are not hard to figure out. Women are very, very easy. A lot of women say women are complicating. You know, they used to have this little meme where they had the big white chalkboard and they had this like long equation, you know, and the point of the equation was how to understand women. Gee, women are not that hard. Women are complicated. They can be a lot. They're very emotional. They're very chaotic sometimes, but they are not hard to understand. So if a woman is touching you, gee, she wants you, bro. All right. Let's get into the next one. Number nine, the last body language sign you can tell if a woman is attracted to her, she wants you. And this is my favorite one, by the way. That's why I saved it for last. Y'all know I saved the game for the end for all you guys who are committed and make it all the way to the end of the video. If a woman does stupid things, little silly things to get your attention, G, or just for you to see her or to intercept, 
you know, your vision, she wants you, bro. She wants you. I actually learned, the reason why this is my favorite one, because I actually learned this at a very, very young age. Okay, like I told you, I'm 33. I learned this, bro, I, learned, I, I probably learned this in elementary school, G. To be honest with you, I learned this in elementary school because I there was a girl and my that was in my second grade or third grade class, bro. And I was trying to figure out whether she liked me or not. You know, because like she used to hit on me, you know, like I'm talking about like punch me and stuff. That's what little kids do. By the way, it goes back to the touching you and stuff, all right? Little kids even do it too. I remember, you know, she used to, you know, hit me, you know, she used to, you know, just mess with me sometimes. But one of the things she used to do a lot is when I would be like talking to guys or I'd be like just hanging out by myself or doing whatever, she would do things to get my attention. Little dumb things, bro, little dumb things. Even now as an adult, I find women doing stuff like this too, okay? You know, like if you, if you at work, let's say you at work, you know, and you got a girl at work that you think she like you or you like her or whatever. And she just, just does stupid, like she drops stuff in front of you. She comes to you for stupid reasons, asking you dumb questions about stuff she probably already know. This actually will happen a lot in the gym for a lot of you guys. You know, if you get a girl, like I remember specifically, I think I told y'all this story in another video. I was at the gym. I was doing military shoulder press in the, in the, uh, the squat rack bar. You know, so I'm doing my shoulder press in between sets. There was this chick that came over and she was like, hey, I lost my little clips for my barbell the other day. Have you seen them? I'm like, girl, it's a hundred people in this gym. This is the first time we met. And you asking me about some barbell clips that you left in here three days ago. What on earth, man, I didn't tell her this, but I'm thinking in my head, like what on earth made you think I saw them clips? She was like, well, she was like, and, and they were right in this area. Have you seen them? I'm like, nah, sweetheart, I haven't seen them. You know, and me thinking she going to walk off after I told her I ain't seen them. She just kind of lingered around, like just lingered around. Bro. I'm like, geez, what this girl want? So I kind of tapped. I was like, hey, come here. What's your name? And she, she, now she opened up. Oh, hi, my name is Kate. And I, I'm like, oh, yeah, I already knew she wanted me, G. I already knew she wanted me, Jane. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you come? You way across the gym. And crazy part is I saw her on the Stairmaster across the gym. And she just got off the Stairmaster, come all the way over there and asked me, did I see her barbell clips? All right, so things like that, guys. You will find women in the gym, they won't be even doing legs. But they'll come over there by the leg machines and just roam around acting like they're looking for stuff. All right. And the reason why women do this, the reason why is because they want you to approach them. OK, women don't like rejection, G. All right. I told y'all this before. Women do not like rejection. So God forbid she come up to you because she's attracted to you and she try to talk to you and you tell her, no, I'm not interested. I got a girlfriend or no, I'm not interested. I'm married or no, nah, I'm good. You have a great day. They don't, that destroys their ego, G. They don't want that. So they rather do little silly stuff in front of you so you can approach them. All right. You can approach them and minimizes the pressure for them. All right. It makes it a lot easier for them. Women want the least past the resistance when it comes to things like this. All right, guys, that's why you got to be the man. You have to notice these things that I talk about today and you have to approach. All right, guys. So these nine things that I gave you today, bro, they will work. OK, if you pay attention to them. Now, some women are going to display some of these things and some women are going to display some of the other things. There are going to be some women that are going to explain all nine of them. But you got to pay attention. My general rule, if a woman is displaying at least two or more of these nine things, She's attracted to me. All right. Now, there's a, I think there's a few more ways, body language signs that you can tell if a woman's attracted to you. But I wanted to give you nine today. I didn't want to overload you. I may do another video to add a few more to help you guys out. But, geez, pay attention. This is just going to help your success rate with women. All right, guys. So I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Shout out to all my new subscribers, guys. If you have not liked the video, please like the video. Make sure you drop in the comments anything I missed or your opinions or your feedback on anything that I said today. I love you guys. It's your boy, KD. We out of here, baby.